circumstances that can lead to permanent residency in Canada. However, the process of obtaining a permanent residency in Canada can be a timely process. And often applicants would either like to stay in Canada or visit Canada prior to obtaining their permanent residency. In these cases, these individuals would usually have dual intent. What this means is that they are currently in the process of obtaining or applying for permanent residency in Canada, but they would also like to apply for temporary residence in Canada to either work, visit, or study. In order to better understand these circumstances, I will explain in this video what dual intent entails, how dual intent is assessed by Canadian immigration, how refusals of dual intent work, and much more. In most cases, dual intent is often thought of to be contradictory. However, there is a reason for dual intent. Dual intent is defined as applying for permanent residency, but at the same time applying for temporary residency in Canada. Essentially, the applicant would then indicate that they would like to gain permanent residency in Canada, but also temporary residency status in Canada at the same time. An example of dual intent is when an applicant has applied for permanent residency in Canada, but has also shown an interest and has applied for temporary residence in order to visit Canada for a short period. Therefore, they can apply for a temporary resident visa or an electronic travel authorization depending on if they are coming from a country that is visa exempt. This intention is actually acceptable so long as the foreign national intends to leave Canada by the end of their authorized stay. First and foremost, the most important aspect in order to assess dual intent in Canada is to make sure that the foreign national will in fact leave Canada by the end of their temporary stay even if their permanent residency application is refused. This can ultimately be a very difficult decision to make by the immigration officer. However, they will ultimately assess whether the intentions of the foreign national are bona fide or not, using a multitude of factors. In assessing dual intent, immigration officers will assess a multitude of factors such as the length of the visit in Canada, the financial means of support while in Canada, ties to the applicant's home country, compliance with the eligibility requirements of the IRPA and regulations applicable to temporary residents in Canada such as visitors, students, and workers. If the application for a temporary resident visa is refused, the immigration officer will offer reasons for refusal. Please note that if you do receive a refusal for your temporary resident visa, this will not affect the decision for your permanent residency application. Refusals for dual intent can only come from one single bona fide intent. For instance, to become a permanent resident of Canada and then misrepresenting the second intent, for instance, to become a temporary resident of Canada, in order to achieve the former intent. When an immigration officer is assessing a dual intent case for temporary resident visas, they are no different than any other temporary resident visa. Additionally, any applicant that is applying for temporary residence status in Canada while they await the decision of their permanent residency application, they must abide by all of the eligibility requirements of a temporary resident visa as well. When the immigration officer is assessing the eligibility requirements for a temporary resident visa, they can refuse the application for any of the following reasons. A history of failing to meet the conditions of admission on any previous travels to Canada, a lack of or insufficient means of financial support for their state within Canada, medical, financial, or criminal inadmissibility, not satisfying the immigration officer that they will in fact leave Canada at the end of their authorized stay. Of course, it is important to recognize that immigration officers will use their discretion when assessing these immigration applications. They are specifically instructed to use flexibility and their own judgment when determining decisions for dual intent. It is important to take all of the aforementioned information into consideration if you are an individual in Canada with dual intent. Here at Akrami & Associates, we work and have dealt with many immigration matters, and we have helped many of our clients gain entry into Canada temporarily as well as permanently. If you believe that you would be eligible to apply, please feel free to contact us. With the Crammy and Associates, there's always a way.